All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we're going to look at our third offense uh, against beating a 1-2-2 two, two, or a 3-2 zone defense. Uh, so let's talk about the difference between the three offenses here. Um, if we're going to go small, if we're going to have basically five smalls on the court at one time, we really just want to run a five out against this defense, your basic five out offense against this defense. Okay, if we're going to have two bigs on the court, so three guards and two bigs in the court, then we're going to want to run that switch offense that we talked about in our last video. Okay, In this video here, in this setup, we're going to have four guards and one big in this offense. Okay, and This offense is called our X offense. You can see why it's called our X offense because we, our initial setup is we're set up like an X. Okay, Really good spacing here. So everyone really is away from their defenders as we start this offense here. Okay. The goal of this offense is to try to get the ball to the middle of the, the court, obviously, or into these corners for corner threes. Those are going to be our, our big shots here. Okay, If we can ever dump the ball down low, that's what we're going to need to do so we can go quick in and out offense or hopefully just a one-on-one -on -one post move. Okay, So here we have our initial setup. We want the ball on one side of the court in one of the, one of the slots. Okay, The only thing we really care about here is that our, our big guy, our, our Strong rebounder, good passer. Our number five is going to be starting off here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. It really doesn't matter who, who plays those positions. Um, usually what we want is we want our best outside shooters to be these two spots here, three and four. All right, so if you have two really good shooters in the court, those are the two we want to be playing those positions. Okay, one and two are probably going to be your better ball handlers, your better passers, maybe people who can drive lanes if those are available. All right, so we have the ball here. Um, as soon as we have the ball in the slot there, five should work to get himself open around this elbow area here, okay? There's a very small chance that's going to be open, okay? But if it ever is open, that's what we want to hit instantaneously so we can either get a quick jump shot or a nice in-out ball movement here, Okay. But that's usually not going to be open right away. It might take a little while to, to make this work. Okay, So really what we want to do then is try to get the ball to the three. But that's also probably not going to be open right away here. So what's going to have to happen is one and two are going to have to try to pass the ball back and forth, get them, working to get themselves open, trying not to be too far away from the arc like we talked about in our other offense here. We still want to be as close to the arc as we possibly can. So it might be cut away, cut back, or cut in, cut out to get themselves open around the arc as close to the arc as possible. So let's see what happens here. If two gets open, so by cutting away and cutting back, we can get the ball over to two. All right, as that happens, five wants to switch over here, and then one's going to work to get himself open over here. But now, let's say as we pass that ball over, this guy was kind of a little late on, a little lazy closing out on four, which is going to happen. We're going we're gonna to get defenders that don't close out on the closest pass here as quickly as possible. Uh, but what should happen is this defender should be on four and this defender should be to the middle. But let's say that doesn't happen right away. Two should hit the ball into the corner to four. And this is where our offense really starts moving. Okay? As that happens, this defender is obviously going to have to close out on him. So five should work his way to the block. If we can dump the ball into five, even if it's covered, if we can get that ball into five, do that right away. Okay? What's either going to happen here is five is going to have a one-on-one -on -one post move or this guy's going to have to double and then we can get the ball right back out to four for a shot. Or this guy's going to have to double, and we can get the ball to two for a shot. Or five can swing it over to three for a corner three. There are lots of options there if we can get the ball into five. Okay. If we can't get the ball into five, so after five moves, uh, three is going to slide his way over to the wing here, and one is going to sprint to the elbow here. Okay, so now we have our three options available to us. Again, five, the block is what we want to hit. Okay, if that's not open, one at the elbow we want to hit for a quick jump shot. Or if this defender slags down, which he should sag down, the reason why three is rotating up here to the wing is hopefully we can get a long skip pass here for a three point opportunity. Okay. If none of those happen to be open, which, you know, if this is our first run through on this offense, it might not be open. We're just going to kind of rotate through this offense again. 
So two work to get yourself open here. And the pass goes back to two. And as that happens, one is going to go right back to his wing, his uh, slot spot. Three, you're going to come down here. You're going to set a screen on this low defender. And four is going to jump around to the other side. Five is going to come back to the elbow. So why is three setting a screen here? He's not setting a screen for five. He's setting a screen for four. Hopefully what we can do is we can do quick swing over here and quick swing over here and catch that defender before he can rotate over. So five is going to rotate with the ball. So as the ball gets to here, five should be at the elbow. And if we can get the ball into the corner, five should rotate down to the block. All right. While this is happening, all these defenders are moving, and hopefully we can catch someone napping. All right. So now we're right back in our setup on the other side. Okay. So five is our look down at the block. Two at the elbow would be a great look, or three if you can hit that with a swing pass. All right. Now let's go through those motions again slowly here one more time. All right. If we get the ball to five, great. If we get the ball to two, great. If we get swing it to three, great. But if that doesn't work. What we're going to do is swing it back to one. As we swing it back to one, everybody but one is going to start moving, all right? Two is going to go back to his spot at the slot. Five is going to work back up to the elbow. Three is going to come down here and set a screen on this defender for four. And then after three does that, we're just going to rotate out to the other corner. And then one, hopefully swing it back over to two. So that'll move five over here. And hopefully we can swing it back over to four while the defense is still trying to catch up. And five, swing back down to the block. One, sprint over to the elbow. And three, glide up to the wing over here. And those are our options again. So that's the motion we're going to continue to go through here in our X offense. We'll do it one more time the other way so we can kind of see this again. All right, four, look into five. This defender's going to be on you, and this defender's going to be on five. Look into five if he can seal. Look at the one if you can get a shot at the elbow, which is probably going to be covered here. And then look over to three for a swing pass if possible. But last rotation here. Four throws it to two. As it happens, one comes out. Five comes up to the elbow. Three come on down here and set a screen. Two swing it over, five to the other elbow. Four comes over here off the screen. Five goes under the block, three goes out the other side. Okay, and again, that, the defense will be moving with us as we do that, but hopefully we can beat the defense to a spot and get an open look somewhere, um, either in the block, at the elbow, or in the corner. All right, so once again, this is called our X offense. We'll run this against either a 1-2-2 two, two, or a 3-2 defense. This is one of our three sets we'll run against those defenses. We have our offense X here, our switch offense that we looked at on our last video, and of course, it's our normal five-out offense as well. All right, thanks again for tuning in today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments. Uh, otherwise, have a great rest of your day.